closed doors, shows stopped, but behind the curtain, a financial tragedy is unfolding. Theatres on the brink of collapse. Well, the situation is pretty desperate, to be honest. We're dependent financially on box office. Uh, so if we don't have people coming in, we can't survive. How many theatres do you fear might close this year? In a worst case situation, if there's no support, most of them. The National Theatre is surviving thanks to the government's furlough scheme, but it needs an extension to survive. We're under by the end of the year. If we can't, it, uh, without support, we, we, we won't survive it. Behind the Palace Theatre, we meet Nika Burns, owner of six West End venues. The financial consequences are huge. There are still a great deal of costs that have to be paid by the producers and the actors, you know, they're not getting anything. So it's, it's very serious. And if it's bad now, after the lockdown, the numbers don't add up with an audience that's socially distanced. We can't survive by selling only one ticket in two or ticket in three because um, it won't pay for the weekly costs or let alone try and get the money back for creating the show in the first place. This might be how theatres can reopen. In South Korea, a masked audience have their hands sanitised and temperatures checked as they come in. We can deliver anything operationally and tick a government box on that. We are ready to put any measures in place. We just can't put the distance. To reopen, theatres want to talk to the government on how to operate with social distancing. Come and help! <laughs> That's what we need! The School of Rock closed it its doors as the lockdown was introduced. This week, its cast have released this song to raise money for carers. We spoke to some of the performers about the West End's own problems. Well, for many people, their, like, their jobs are taken away. Like Even like technicians and people who... Work. There's thousands of people who are but like behind the set, and you don't even know. So for ev for everyone, for it all to be closed is a is a big deal for everyone's lives. In a statement, the government told us as soon as it's safe, everyone will be encouraged to experience the UK's cultural offerings. But without firm guarantees, the stage is set for a final curtain for many theatres. Rags Martel, ITV News, in the West End.